Welcome to College Candidates from Campus Bound. This is Dickinson College. To start, could you just introduce yourself and give a quick overview of Dickinson? Um, there are three things that make Dickinson a great fit for someone. One is the focus on global education. If you are somebody who has a desire to be part of a diverse campus community of students from different backgrounds, different cultures, different places, and want to genuinely learn from others, we're a great community. We also have incredible study abroad opportunities. We have 18 sites, uh, Dickinson sites abroad. So um, we are a place that values the getting to know the world because we know that's important to being successful in the world. We also are incredibly strong uh, in terms of environmental sustainability. We've been rated number one in the nation there. We're the eighth college in the country to meet carbon neutrality, which we did early in 2020. And, um, and certainly a lot of ways for students to engage in elements of sustainability. Um, students are graduating super knowledgeable about it. Um, and uh, certainly if you, that sounds like you and you have a passion for the issue and want to spend four years somewhere that does too, we're a great option. And then lastly, uh, a strong tie, strong thread in terms of civic engagement, doing good things for other people. If you enjoy that, if that resonates for you, um, certainly in terms of service learning, community service elements, absolutely global citizenship, um, doing good things for others and how we treat one another is all aspects of a Dickinson education and certainly something that resonates with our community. So those are just a brief overview of who we are um, as you're considering schools. Um, if you could give us three words or phrases that describe your college, your college's student body, what yeah. would it be? So first I would say collaborative for sure. Um, I, it's, it's, it's really challenging. Dickinson, the academic community is challenging, but it's not cutthroat. It's not competitive. It's collaborative. Again, if you love working with other students um, and, and working with each other towards success, if you love the thought of engaging with your faculty, um, and I'd say collaborative outside the classroom too. If you're somebody who loves to do a variety of things, you know, you're an athlete, but you're also interested in music or you have a desire to think about, um, you know, getting involved in religious organizations or Greek life, our students are doing a variety of different things and that's encouraged. So this collaborative nature to a, to a campus community. I would say um, generally our students are really nice people. The campus community tends to be campus for lack of a better word of really nice people. And when you think about we're a place that cares about the world, we care about the environment, we care about each other. It doesn't surprise me that organically we've kind of created that campus community of really nice people. Um, so, so I would say that absolutely a really welcoming place um, where again, you're encouraged to, to get involved in a variety of different ways. Um, I would also say our students are, are really smart and all really interested in diverse interests like they have all everybody has something that they're interested in and that they're working towards and that they're diving headfirst into but often you know i describe our students as humble because when i talk with students that often are touting the successes of one of their peers before they are touting their what they're doing and they're doing something cool in and of itself too as an admissions counselor how would you advise a student to describe their high school activities whenever i interview students um, one of the questions i ask often is if you had all the free time in the world what would you do and never did that take on such a meaning until this past year <laughs> but i love that question because often i get to know students beyond anything like they're telling me about things that they didn't think i was going to care to know but really at the gets to the root of who you are and what your interests are which helps you identify fit with a school and you know i learned things about students you know i hiked this many mountains or i did this service project you know and donated these things to a homeless shelter during covid like whatever that might look like this past year that question opened up all of this like we're all stepping out of a time where we had a lot of free time so what students were doing with that time it was unbelievable to kind of hear and whether some students might think, wow, I didn't think that that really meant much of anything, but it does. What did you do during when you had the free time in the world? Or what would you do if you had free time? I think is a great question to consider. Share those things with us.